Okay, I was lucky enough tonight to be part of the first presentation of the all-new Spellbound experience on the Sun Princess, where it's a $149 per person specialty dining slash entertainment bar magic show by the Magic Castle. And let me just tell you, this is one you're not going to want to miss. So first off, we didn't get a chance to do the dining part of the experience yet. Now, the menu it will be a set menu. However, there'll be choices. You can have a chicken or a fish or a vegetarian. There will be choices available. You won't have, it's not going to be, you're going to get T-bone steak and you're going to get, this is your entree and this is going to be your dessert and that's it. You will have choices to do but it's a set you won't be able to just randomly choose from like 50 items. There'll be different choices depending on your flavor palette, etc. And then what happens is you're escorted over into the spellbound magical experience. Now, I've talked to the magicians who work at the Magic Castle, some of them for as long as 13 to 15 years, and they tell me they've worked at many companies that have put on specialty magic shows um, inspired by the Magic Castle, etc. And they said, Princess has the most authentic experience to the Magic Castle, which is a big high compliment when you're talking to the people who actually work there and love the history of the Magic Castle, etc. And I've talked to some people who go there on a regular basis who were in our group and he said, it's amazing how close this is. A much smaller scale, mind you. It doesn't have, you know, four bars and, you know, six floors and this kind of thing like the Magic Castle has, but it is truly authentic. So if you're appreciative of that, you will love it. And it starts off with the, you walk in and you're in this little smaller room and the voice from above kind of guides you through the history of the Magic Castle a little bit, and then the fireplace will open up and you walk into the first bar area. And there's all kinds of memorabilia and pictures from Magic, uh, Houdini's actual handcuffs he used during some of his Magic acts are there. The, the owners and the creators of the Magic Castle are there. Uh, I think it's Irma is the name of the piano player ghost that's there as the piano hauntingly plays in the background while you're inside. And then, not only that, while you're inside, they have the they have 12 cocktails that are all designed especially for to represent different things. I, ha I had one that was called 1963, which was when the owners created the Magic Castle creating it for me as we speak. Very mysterious. Very eerie. Is the video on? It's on! Oh, and here we go. It's released a from his chest. Mm. <laughs> What'd you order? The escape from Houdini's chest. That's cool. <laughs> and now Houdini. Oh, you want? Go for it. You're good. You're good. Houdini will now escape, but he will not last long. So I'm going to drink this puppy up. Here we go now. He asked me if I like vodka, so we're going to test it out here. Mm. Princess has not been disappointing on this at all. 
for the for the drinks. And this one, it's gonna disappear into my gut. And while we were sitting there enjoying our cocktails, waiting to go in to see one of the magic acts, a gentleman came around and was performing close-up card magic to us at the bar. And had we had more people, there would have been you know, probably another magician walking around from the tables as well, basically entertaining us while we were just having some drinks and enjoying ourselves. And it was really good. Like, we were right close. Um, and uh, I don't know how he did some of them. I'm just looking at it. What just happened? It was it was great. <laughs> and it was very entertaining. And the, the staff in there was wonderful. Uh, very, you know, if you wanted it, they r ran and got it. They just, very attentive. They made perfect suggestions. They asked you the right questions to get your flavor palette. And they were on top of it serving. So if the restaurant portion, the dining experience is anything like that experience, you're in for a 100% top-notch experience. So, but then it, it's not over yet. You think that would be over, right? That's enough. You you had a full meal served by the, 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 the chefs and everything all designed around this show. You come in, you have these magicians walking around, they serve you some cocktails while you're in there. You would think, oh, okay, well, that's it, that's not, no. Then you're walked into the stage and it's a very small area. I don't think it holds more than 30 people. Uh, I sat in the back and I could see perfectly. It's not like you have, you know, you're gonna have, be struggling in a theater to see anything. You can see the gentleman perfectly. And he's one of the masters right now from the Magic Castle. I was talking to the magician Bones on the ship who does, was doing some shows in the theater and doing some shows in the Piazza and in Princess Live. And he introduced us to him at one point saying that he was his master kind of thing. He's, he has these tricks that nobody else has done. And, and he, he, he says, I, I bow down to him kind of thing. He's been doing this so long and we got to finally see him perform. And he was funny and charming and we had a great time. He involves everybody in the audience and you don't have to worry. You don't all have to get up and do something on stage. It might be as simple as think of a card or think of a number, that sort of thing. Or here, I'm gonna give you a card, please hold on to that card and don't show anybody. Just, but he involves the whole audience as much as possible. And there's one trick, you know, I didn't film this part because I really don't want to spoil it for you. I don't want to, here's all the magic tricks you're going to see during your show. That would be irresponsible of me. But I will tell you, there's one trick he does that good luck figuring it out because he doesn't guess the card from somebody in the audience. He asked somebody in the audience randomly and I know the person that he asked, so I know this isn't staged, <laughs> um, he's part of our group and he actually called somebody up in their stateroom and somehow the magician was able to pull out a card that the person in the room was thinking and I'm not going to explain it anymore I'm just going to leave it at that but it was fun funny and absolutely amazing so for a, an experience where if you go to a chef's table sometimes or a wine pairing, it's $110, $150. This is $149 a person. You get a full deal, dinner. You get cocktails when you arrive. You get magic show while you're in having your cocktails. Then you go into the magic show and you're in there and you see the show. It's about a half hour, 35 minutes or so. And then you come... It's not over. You think it's over. It's not over. You come back out into the bar and you can stay there as long as you want. The magicians are still walking around. The bar staff is there. They'll keep serving you drinks as long as you want to be in there. They're not kicking you out. And it's just fun to walk around and see the pictures and the history of the Magic Castle and Houdini and all that kind of stuff. It's really a lot of fun. And 
I've been to, I, I try all kinds of specialty dining. I love little shows that are specialty, you know, meals and stuff like that, that involve, you know, the odd drink here and there, plus a full meal, and they have a show. Well, this is a full show, and it's one of the best I've ever seen. It's magic, it's close-up magic, but it's close-up. You're not 60 rows back looking in a theater. You're three seats away trying to figure out how these guys are doing it. Or you're in, actually sitting in front of him at the bar trying to figure out how he's doing it. And the drinks keep flowing, the good times keep flowing, and like I said, if the meal is even close to the experience I had in the actual magician's area in the spell castle and the bar staff and all that, well, this is definitely one not to be missed. Now, you can start booking this as of the 19th, but it won't be available till around uh, April 8th, actually on the ship. So people are gonna be able to start booking it so they can make their reservations, break down the timelines and all that kind of thing. You'll be able to start booking it. But anytime after April 8th, you can start booking it on the app. I think you're gonna be able to book all the way almost till the end of the year. Uh, well, actually no, I think right now it's only gonna be till uh, uh, two months, I think, was the timeline they're giving us, but eventually it'll be open up for the rest of the year. So if you want to do this, you need to basically keep an eye on your app, keep checking for your cruise, and see if Spellbound is available to book. And it'll be the same type of thing for Love by Brito. That's going to take a little longer right now, they're, but they're hoping to get the that open up as well, right around the same time. So they're coming online very, very soon. And right now, I don't know what Love by Brito is uh, as far as an experience is concerned. But if you're asking me right now, should you do Spellbound? Well, if you love magic, you love specialty cocktails, and you're going to absolutely love Spellbound. Let me know what you guys think. Am I building it up? Do you think I'm building it up too much? We had an amazing time. I asked everybody that was there. They had an amazing time. And so I don't think it was just me saying, you know what, I'm just, I'm a little tipsy or something. <laughs> Maybe I'm just enjoying it because of that. It was truly so much fun. You got involved in it and you didn't feel nervous about getting involved in it. That's another key point. So yes, absolutely had an amazing time at Spellbound. Highly recommended. If you get a chance, you're on it this summer in the Mediterranean on the Sun Princess and you get a chance to do it, leave a comment down below if you guys are gonna try it because I, I, I have said to, this is one of the most fun events I've ever been to on a cruise ship. Absolutely loved it. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.